I want to start off by this. Okay, I'm not a parent, and um, I'm looking forward to your, your comments to, to give me some guidance on your experience of parenthood out there. Um, I'm expecting my first child this month, and uh, I'm elated. I'm um, going to talk about understanding the enemy, not saying that the child enemy. It's just understanding some expectations. All, this is from gathered information from my peers, all babies are different. All pregnancies are different, okay? So everybody's experience on parenthood is different. So basically, we're going to start off with the cries, okay? So you, you're going to have a, a, a you're going to get a warning cry. It's going to be kind of like a, it's like, hey, listen, well, I advise you, I advise you to check, check, check my pamper and, and, and check out my appetite. See if I've, I've been fed, okay? Then after that, you're going to have a cry like a, hey, listen, I've, I've urinated. And I have pooped kind of cry. And it's going to be kind of like a... Like that. It's going to say, it's not this, it's not that, it's not that, that. But it's like, hey, it's, it's kind of there. Now, you're going to reach the stage of, I have urinated, I have pooped. Okay? I am famished, and I, I, re I request some attention as well. And that's going to be like... High magnitude disruption is going to be really calamitous. It's going to be the definition of obstreperous. Like that. Like that. So then you're going to get like a, you've done all you can. It's you've done all you can. You've changed them. You've did everything. You can think of temperature, there's no temperature, everything is like good, they've been fed, burped, everything's been done. And they're just going to test drive those vocal cords. It's going to be kind of like a... <laughs> like that. And then, it's just going to go to sleep. And then what's going to happen is you, you're going to have a moment of clarity. And then in that small moment of clarity, you're going to rapidly go straight into the REM state. It's going to be the rapid eye movement state. You're going to think you're going to get a dream. Now, what's the baby's going to do? It's like, oh, it's going to look around. He or she's going to probably look up in the sky and say, you know what? I, I know they're asleep. I know that it's sleep. I know that my parents are asleep. And I'm fed, and I have not soiled myself, I have not urinated, and I'm full, and I'm good. What am I going to do? What am I going to do with my vocal cords? Test drive up. And they're going to test drive your vocal cords while you attempt to sleep. What you guys need to do is figure something out. Now, this is from advice. Everything that I'm giving you is advice that I received from various parents. And they said, come up with a plan of attack. Okay, every move you make should be calculated. So this means this. Okay, one parent is going to change the diaper, then the other parent is going to feed. Now you're going to go into four-hour intervals, two-hour intervals, whatever it may be, work as a team. If you feel that you need a break, um, first of all, put the baby in a safe place. Um, this, this step away for a second while observing the child and just take a couple deep breaths and get back in there and do what you got to do. Um, pretty much just, just take your time. Know that <laughs> the baby's going to do what the baby's going to do. And it's no such thing as being a perfect parent or anything like that. But hey. Just put the safety belt on and put it in drive. Um, make sure you comment because I'm going to need your comments. I'm going to need your feedback as a first-time parent. I'm um, going to briefly get into the stages of pregnancy for all my expecting fathers. And um, it's pretty interesting. So you have the pregnancy stage. The pregnancy stage is this. Your significant other has found out that she's expecting a child. And she's elated. She's excited. She's enthused. 
she she's pretty much at this time is just sharing the information with her her mom, dad, uh, siblings, uh, co-workers, friends. Hey, I'm pregnant. Uh, congratulations, awesome. Now she hasn't exhibited any kind of uh, symptoms during this time yet, because she's just you know, hey, I'm, I found out I'm pregnant. Now the next stage is this. The next stage is the prego stage. Okay. This is basically all you can eat, okay? This is the symptoms. This is not only the symptoms, you have everything. You can, like, I'm just go ahead and name the symptoms. How about that? You have hunger pains, always hungry. You have um, irritability. You have soreness. You have swollen feet. You have um, these nausea. You have any kind of smell. It maybe makes you throw up or whatnot. Um, all that morning sickness, it's more than morning sickness. It's not this morning. It's all day sickness, okay? That's a lie. It's morning sickness, whatever. So then that's pretty much the prego stage. Now, the last and final stage is the pregnator stage. Guys, this is a fence you don't want to straddle here, okay? Um, you can fart the wrong way, burp the wrong way, close the door the wrong way. Uh, unlock the vehicle the wrong way. Not for my spouse. My spouse is amazing. Just want to let you know that right now I haven't experienced this at all. Um, a lot of indecisiveness. Um, a lot of craves. Um, various craves. Every pregnancy is different. Every spouse is different. Um, I'm going to tell you what you're not going to do. Guys, when our wife was not pregnant, our spouse, our significant other, just girlfriend, boyfriend, was not pregnant. Um, it was cool. It would, she would be cool with you eating leftovers from Outback Steakhouse, Applebee's, or Ruby Tuesdays, or Olive Garden two for one. If you value the life that you have currently, do not eat any food items that she has purchased. Okay, any leftovers, anything. It can be a, it can be one chip in a bag. Don't eat it. It can be a swallow of Mountain Dew, whatever it may be. I behoove you not to do it. Okay. Um, another thing you want to do is not do this. When she wasn't pregnant, it was okay. Hey, babe, what's wrong? You're not talking. What's going on? What's up? Don't do that. Do not do that. This is what you're gonna do, babe. Can I massage your feet? Can I get you something to eat? Avoid eye contact during the pregnator stage. Just keep your eyes down and just, just you know, kind of kind of massage your feet or kind of rub her back when you ask what she wants to avoid any kind of self-injurious behaviors towards, um, or just to say not self-injurious behavior, just to any aggression towards yourself. Um, and just, just, just keep your mouth shut. You know what I'm saying? Just, 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 if you want to live, just, just shut your mouth. Just shut your mouth. Keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. Um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it, I think. Now, all my parents out there, I need your help. I need your shares. I need your likes. I need your comments. You know, because, you know, I'm expecting. You know, my babies do this month. So, toot toot.